Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Just going in a little bit, zooming in a bit because I want to show you what I'm, well I told you I'd come back and show you how to make some of these velvet flowers. Um, just going to put timer on my husband's stopwatch here because I need to know how long I've been on for because last time I was doing a video it just cut out because it only for some reason records for half an hour at a time and then it just goes off so um so we're just gonna try to do this for you that's just sitting there I think um so we've got a lot of different uh velvet flowers um and there's, there's some just different techniques so I'm going to just show you I'll show you how to do these ones here that one that one and that one are all done with the same technique that one there they're all done with a strip of um, fabric like so now this velveteen this one because it's not it's a it's a synthetic thing like I don't have any idea what velvet's made out of I'm sure there's some things synthetic in that I must say you have to be careful because the glue is very it sticks to this and makes a mess all right so you're going to be using that up that way so we're not going to see that bit so that was a bit lucky so we'll need a needle and cotton and a thread or whatever that and I just had one here that I was using earlier always the way I was just waiting for my um, battery to charge on my charger I've got glue on me because I've been finishing another project this morning and I have washed my hands but you know how it is doesn't matter it doesn't come off until you've picked it and fiddled at it and anyway it's dry so it's not going to be getting anywhere right here now when I did this I tucked under the end a bit righto, and I've cut this out with the pink and shears which are these pinking shear scissors that we pay a lot of money for actually <laughs> but they're really worth it, I think for something you don't if you don't want something to fray this won't I just I just cut it out with that just for the, for the now we want two knots one good knot good solid knot there and you're just going to go across the bottom like so now I don't as a rule have a measurement okay it's up to yourself how wide that must be about two inches wide I'd say like fold and then you fold it so that's four all together so no, two sorry one that's one inch right which is a couple of centimeters or one and a half centimeters more than one and a half nearly two centimeters wide when you folded it over okay now you fold it over because you want this nice part to show up there okay now I've done tutorials on flowers like this before now it doesn't matter if you use lightning stitches you know great big ones or small, but not well, you know you don't want it too big because you're going to have you want to have it um scooching up to be able to <laughs> gather it right now see as you're going along so you've got a nice piece nice good length so you can go along pull it up and see how you're going how big of a plant a flower it was a plant <laughs> i say some strange things sometimes anyway um so that's going to be like so right. now you can put that to the top here if you want to like this one here is and I've been press it down you can leave it open more this is done a bit looser this one I'm just going to go along here and see how this works and it depends on the, the sort of oh dear, it depends on the sort of fabric that you use and I'm hoping that this is still in the shot because I'm not going to be very happy. I've got my lunch in the oven, which is going to consist of, um, I put in on the baking paper, zucchini and sweet potato. And I don't know what I'm going to have with that. I could have a, a cutlet, a prawn cutlet or something with that because I just love, well, a, well, a tray full of vegetables. I'm going to need a lot of vegetables because I need to do that, that sort of thing. Now, this could go this way, and you've only got it like that, okay? Now, that would be if I'd made one like this. No, more or less flat. That one there is, that's pretty flat, that little fella. He's just done like this too. So, you can leave it like that and have it flat like that, and you can put a flower in the center if you want that, and it has a really nice effect, doesn't it? You know? Or we'll keep going a bit further. 
Oh, this is good. I can see how long I've lasted. I've been doing the video for. <laughs> Ah, isn't that cool? <laughs> My lunch is going to take about 40 minutes, so which probably won't be that long anyway, but the hubby will get it out when he thinks it's ready anyway, I hope. Um, so he's had his, but it's, I don't know, it's always late in the afternoon by the time I get to having mine. You've got to do stuff. I like to get, do my crafting of the morning, and I have been doing a real lot of a night time now that I've been enjoying, so I'm going to show you that a bit later. Now, I may not pull that up really far, because I, as I said, I'm going to show you now how to do... Don't come undone you. That's the way. Right. Now, you can open it up, see? You can pull it back, and you can, you can go, well, I just want it there, there, and you wouldn't... It, in reality bring that bit back level with that so you've got two I'll try to explain this I want to tuck this in you can keep like make it a lot longer go further get your piece of fabric and don't cut it off until you decided how how big you want to make it okay so I've got I think I'm going to do a um, I'm going to leave it at that maybe you can come on. You just check that out and see if it's right. If you want it to go around there like so. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end it off by using a couple of back stitches in there. Um just have, excuse me a minute I've got something in my eye. It's alright, we're all good. You can see now, I think. Actually, it's not my eyes, it's my glasses. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm amazed how much stuff gets on your glasses when you're not looking, eh? <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought I was just <clears throat> having eye trouble. <clears throat> Had a lot of medical issues lately, that's why I haven't been on. Um, good now. Oh, well, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So, oh, it's just... You know, I think I get angry because you can't do something. <laughs> You find out what's wrong with you first and had lots of tests done yesterday and they didn't ring me back so that I must be okay all right so I'm gonna be good I hope you just got to figure out what it is but anyway I'll be right okay so that's the sort of thing then you'll have there what you do now is just um, it's yourself a circle and just put that on the back of it a circle of card okay which it's on you know what I thought I got ready but I mustn't have done it. I didn't and I naughty I didn't want to add the doilies into them because, you know what, I just thought that we're going to go with this. This is the sort of style that we're after. Anything um, old sort of fashion. Now, see, that's done the same way because it's stiffer and heavier. That's why it sits like that. Same with this one. This is done exactly the same way too. It's just gathered up by folding two pieces over and they were about that same inch. And this one here, I've just pulled that up. Um, and made it, it was a bit longer. So what I did was, I just went round in there and I just puffed him up, okay? Now I haven't actually got this one sewn up yet or glued down, so I can show you that that's all I did with that one. Just kept going round like that and it might have a bit more work on it. Just shape it how you want it to be, alright? Um, suppose it looks a bit like a rose, I don't know. I think I'd put more rounds on it, I don't know. I'm just but this one is made, you know, with the long strip too. So that's not one bit hard whatsoever. None of them are really. Now, the ones, this one here is made out of circles. So all you have to do then, I might get a piece of, longer piece of thread. And I'm going to make this, this out of this colour. Now, see, this is a, an acrylic sort of, this is a, a fake. What do they call this? Velveteen, I think. I think it's called velveteen. Now, I need um, some circles. So I'm going to just fold my fabric in four like that. Bless me soul, where will I find a circle? <laughs> there might be one in this room, you can bet on anything you like on that. Wait a minute. That'll be the right size. Yeah. Now, to get that to work, we're going to have to do it, go around it on... <sighs> if we can't draw on that side, but we'll be able to draw on this side, okay? Righto. I'll fold that there like that. Put that one over there like that put him on there like so we all know how to make a circle we need a pen that's going to write that's not going to be it this wheel it was more the same color as it is not going to happen i'm going to see this no 
That would be too easy, wouldn't it? I keep taking my things out into the other room. Because I've been doing a lot of work out there. Can't see that either. You know what, I'm going to eyeball this. I hope you don't mind. You get your circle, the proper the way, you know, that way. And I'm going to, to, to hopefully cut out a round circle. I'm going to take it across here though first so I can get rid of all that other there that I'm hanging on to. Now we sort of got an oval ish thing, and we're going to keep going around here till we got a circle ish sort of thing. <laughs> Don't keep going too far because you'll end up with nothing. This is a bit flat here, isn't it? So we'll just go around there like that. Sorry about all this glue and mess I've got on me. Oh, I'd be ashamed of myself, eh? I oh, don't know what won't come off me. There we go, got it. <clears throat> Some of it anyway. Okay, now we need a piece of thread and I've got some grey here because it's sitting here close to me and there's my scissors I left in that pile. Always get too much thread, I do. Never fail. I don't know, this might be alright though. We'll see. And it'll it'll work because it's grey. So that's my embroidery thread, thread, but I have plenty. I don't think I'm going to embroider that much between now and whenever. So I'm up to 11 minutes, and I really need to wiggle on here a bit, don't I? Okay, so we're going to go around in the inside of this. I'm going to make a three-petal one like I did there. Okay. So we're just going around the circle like we were going to be making a um, yo-yo one, which we can start, we can do it on the way to making the other sort of one, can't we? Because it's same same thing. You just go around here, I think they call them yo-yo flowers or um, suffles, maybe, suffle, suffle, whatever people want them to be. It's what they are. Okay, so if you end up on the outside, that's really good. Now, if you were going to make a suffle one, you would just pull him up like this. But as you can see in the one that I did, I made him a little bit bigger. This one here is a bit bigger. He's a suffle flower. And he was made with a circle and just draw it up like that. Okay. Now, um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to go and I'm going to get, don't, don't cut your thread, just keep going and do the next one of these, okay, and here, sorry about this, hope we're not boring you, I've just, you know, it's, if you see something done too, sometimes it's easier to pick it up if you, people show you how to do something. I find that. Um, I do really enjoy trying to work things out myself, but now you want to drag him up so he's up there with that fella. Make sure he's the right way around. Okay. Well, see, you can make these out of anything, like uh, lace. It'd be really nice made out of bits of lace. Um, and all we're going to do is sort of tuck that down in there, keep it keep it connected, where I, am I, where am I, why am I back over here, anyway let's just keep it connected and just don't worry about till we get another one made, eh? and um, see how we go, alright, okay, well I hope everybody's getting a bit of rain, we had lots of rain, we hadn't had any for forever, everybody used to always say well it surrounds us but never comes here, but it did, the other day we had it roamed all day and pelted down like it did on that video I put up and my husband actually went and took the pictures of it and Penny said some must have been hot because he had no boots on but my husband never wears shoes unless he goes out because um, he's in touch with the earth I suppose he's a, he's a um, gardener and he doesn't like having shoes on <laughs> so I'm a bit like that too I don't like wearing my shoes I just think it's Oh well, I don't know, I'm used to not having them I guess, and 
But yes, it is hot here still today. It's come back again with a vengeance, you'd say, because it's. Oh, we thought, oh, good, it's going to start to get cool now. We'll be right. But that didn't happen. Now, I pull this up here and I'm faffing around with it because I want to get it sort of looking properly. If you can take it back undone a little bit, you know, it gives yourself a bit of room. So whatever you do while you're doing it, don't do a backstitch because then you're not going to be able to manoeuvre it, you know, because while, while you can still pull it out a bit like so, you can make it look the way you want it to be, all right? Now, if you've got your flower and you're happy with that, you'd put a, a piece of... Um, something on the back and then I stuck the leaves on there that I cut out with the um, pink and shears now it was I haven't got a flower here to put on that I got these little ones I don't really have any big ones about handy at the moment isn't it marvelous how you think you've got everything there but it's not really it's just tricking you that doesn't look right does it so you need to put one of those I suppose you could put that in there no don't want to do that either that's not what we're looking for we need one of those flowers there and I thought I had them sitting here somewhere in the bag okay I do but do I have the right colour that's the thing do I have the right colour I think the grey one might look okay anyway so you'd put that in the centre of them I don't think that looks too bad does he yeah. When you gather it all up and you glue it and then you find what you want to put in your middle that one there's a gathered up one this one here is too it's red but it's red and i'm not thinking that's going to look like what i'm after on there i suppose i don't know i'm look at the, the go i'm looking for we'll, we'll come back and i'll show you what i'm going to put them on to and when i get to it because i've gone off on the journey to other things um now i have also this one here to show you how i did that now the bottom bit is just a strip gathered up okay so that's just a strip uh, of um really nice fabric gathered up and then to do the ribbon i'm going to have to come back and show you these here ones this one here is done like this too but because it's heavy and thicker it sits that way and i've quite flattened that flower down too much um, but that's the same way this one here I can come back and show you how I did and this here these ones I'm going to come back and show you but I won't I don't know if I'll be able to get to that today because I've got a, a few other things but I definitely will come back on here at some time soon and show you how that was done all right so thank you everybody for watching and I hope you got some sort of um, ideas out of this how they're done uh, they seem to be multiplying here really fast don't they I like that one and these ones here too I'm thinking about oh well I'll do a center in that and show you how these are done too all right so thank you everybody for watching and we'll get back to you later bye bye